Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the energy with the standard feature of Genesis 64. We can use Genesis 64 to record data from energy meter and then we can export this data into Microsoft SQL Server by interval. Finally, we can connect this data into Genesis 64 and using uh, some of SQL query to calculate the hourly data daily, monthly, for example. First of all, you need to record this data into HyperHistorian. In this case, I will uh, record the data into this folder, various signal. Okay, now I have created the meter 1, meter 2, and meter 3 with the signal, the simulation signal, and then start a point manager to record this data to hyperhistorian. That is the first step. The second step, you need to use the data exporter, create a data exporter. You need to specify where to keep data. In this example, I will uh, keep data into local SQL Server. Then I have created the storage here, yeah. add data storage. For example, my EA data. Give it a name as EA data. Sorry, E data and use the connection type as the SQL server the connection configure the connection you can use window authentication as well and I will use the database BKK to store this data Then hit apply. Okay. Now you need to create the data set. What is the data set? The data set is the set of data from Hyperhistorian. Right click on the data set and add data set definition. Give it a name, for example, meter data and use aggregate option to calculate data for example the data value maximum minimum as you want in this case I will use delta then we go to column and the point name this is the point name from the signal in hyperhistorian we need to change the column value type to relative value to pad element relative because we want only signal name not a full pad of the signal then the timestamp and status we can remove this and the value I will use the aggregate value We change it to delta because we would like to get the delta value by interval. For example, every 5 minutes, every 15 minutes. If you want to specify the time interval to process data, for example, if you would like to process delta value every 15 minutes, go to dataset definition and manipulate this calculation period and specify the resample start this is the start time resampling start time okay now get back to column I will change this column name to delta and hit apply Go to Filters tab 
and add a signal from hyperhistorian. You can specify each signal, or you can specify whole signals in the part. For example, in various signal, if you would like to get all of data in this folder, you can use this this section and browse to various signal and hit OK. But in this case, I will specify each signal. Meter one, meter two, and meter three. Okay, and uh, hit apply. And now you need to create the task getting data from data set and put into the SQL server that we have specified before. Right click on task and add synchronization task. And give it a name, for example, calculate EA. Okay, I would name it as Cal EA. Select the storage, EA data, and the trigger. I will use uh, the trigger from the action trigger and the time trigger every 10 seconds. It will work every 10 seconds. You need to disable this option because if you check this option, it will create the table every time by interval. For example, every seven day. Then I need to uncheck this option because I want to keep all data into one table. And now go into dataset tab and add the dataset that we have created before the meter data and hit apply and we need to waiting for the data stored in the SQL server after 15 minutes uh, in the SQL management studio you will see the new table create automatically this is the meter data table right click and select to new query editor and hit on execute button. As you can see, this is the data value. I don't want to waiting for 15 minutes, then I change the uh, data set meter data here from 15 minutes to 5 minutes. And then after 5 minutes, it will create the table. It will put in data, the calculate data into this the aggregate delta value into this table. Now we have nine rows. If we execute again, as you can see, 12 rows here. Now we have data every five minutes, as you can see, this is meter one. The interval is five minutes, and this is meter two, five minutes yes, uh, as well. This is meter three, and the meter one, meter two, and meter three again. To calculate the energy in data, I have created a SQL query. I will put this URL in the video description, and you can use this SQL query. For example, if you would like to calculate TOU data, you can copy this TOU data query. If you would like to query hourly data, you can copy this and go to SQL Server, uh, SQL Management Studio, create new query for testing, and face this. This query will create a procedure. For example, I will change the name to 
get dynamic firewall data too. You need to change the bold character here that I have mentioned with the bold character. This is from the table signal data, but your table name is meter data, then you need to change this. You need to change this. Here, you need to change to meter data. Here, as the meter data. Okay, now execute. The stop of your name, get dynamic power data tool will be created here in the stop of here. Now we can execute. I have made mistake for the name of the table. Then if you would like to manipulate the stop of here, you can right click and select modify. As you can see, this is meter data, not meter delta. And hit execute. And then execute this stop procedure again for testing. And give started. at the midnight and this is the return value from our query. We can use this stop procedure in Genesis 64. Then we we will have the uh, hourly data at nine o'clock, ten o'clock. How to use this in uh, in the Genesis 64? Go to workbench and data connectivity and at the database and SQL connection. Create the SQL connection and specify the connection. In this case, I have the existing connection to our database, to my database here. Just right click on it and create data source. Give it a name. EA data. Only. And configure the command. Select store post here. And expand DBO database owner. As you can see, this is the store post here we have created in SQM server. And click next and click next again it will show you the parameter need to specify the value this is the input start date and end date and hit finish hit ok and hit apply now we testing by click on test command and give start date and end date in this case, I will uh, get data between the third and the fourth day of uh, January 2025 and hit next. As you can see, this is the meter data from meter 1, meter 2 and meter 3 at each hour from starting recording to now. We can use this data to plot the charge in GraphWorks. For example, if I would like to create some chart, I can go to Control and GridWorks Viewer and double click on it to configure this chart, this grid view. Remove this and right click on the tab and add chart. 
in the chart property at the series tab, we can add the connection to the database connection, data connectivity, and database, SQL Server, our database, and data source. As you can see, this is EA data only that we have created. Hit OK. You can give it the name of the series title, the plot type that we use bar, and key binding, the X exit. I will use uh, hourly timestamp and the value binding will be meter one. And the next one, we add the next one the same, but we change this to meter two. Give it a name for meter two. This is meter one. Meter two bar. Okay, we need to specify start date and end date here. You can use the alias to change this parameter dynamically. As you can see, this is the meter data. We can show the label value here. Thank you for watching.